So we're going to be playing as Cole Phelps again. So, of course he doesn't have a hostage or anything like that, because he's, you know, there's nobody there. But that's to... But that is to get... That's to get a lot of cops to get down there and take him down before he can do anything that, that's gonna fuck up the, the suburban redevelopment fund and the freeway. Oh, that's good! So... We're gonna we're gonna catch up with Jack. We're gonna follow him to the river. But there's gonna be cops trying to knock us out of the way. That's Kelso's car. Oh shit! Time to do what Cole Phelps does best: cause destruction. Ram cars off the road. Yeah! yeah! Take him down, Phelps. Keep LA safe. Drive safely. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm keeping LA safe now. I'm sure they put that in there for irony's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's Jack? Oh, there he is. I think. Is that Jack? Yeah, that's him. Okay. The white car is Jack on our mini-map, the red cars are cops, and, oh. uh, well, oh. uh... Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How many cops Keep LA safe! They don't last long! Keep LA safe! Ooh, nice turn there. Uh -oh. Uh oh, so is that our now, car? Yep, that's our car. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh god! So, so now they're after us too. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, here they come! Here they come! Oh, they're rubber banding fast. Uh -huh. Except for that one guy, I think he just knocked himself out. All right, here he comes. All right, I'll take him on. Bring it! Oh, they're ah. firing guns! Oh ah. shit! They're doing the same thing you do! No! That's not how this works! Oh no! Ah. Um, fuck! No, drive backwards! Drive backwards! You're good at it! Oh, well, there goes a the fire hydrant. D I'll never catch up if I drive backwards! Go, 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 go! Get him! Uh, come on! Get him! Oh, well... Did okay, you just crash just... on your own? What? I, I, I think... I think he did. What the?! Did. <laughs> well, this is the easiest chase ever! What kind of idiot cops did you hire, Monroe? <laughs> Maybe that's why they're cleaning up the LAPD, because they're full of idiots. Ah, yeah. oh, crap. Even, anyway. then they, even then, they still can't catch up. <laughs> well, it's just so, smooth sailing from here, right? It's like, do you want $200 million? Uh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh, then you do uh -huh. exactly as I say! Okay, here we go. Drive the car. Beep, beep. Get up to that man and make sure he doesn't get to the river! Okay! Which way's the river? It's north! Which way's north? The way that's not south. Which way's south? Peter's uh, turning into Malcolm McDowell. He's here to cover our backs. <laughs> going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover the spot here. I think that's his fail safe exit. Cole. He's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are. He's one of ours. Got it, got it. Go get him. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. <laughs> so, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? And we're gonna uh -oh. help. The chief's in on it too. Shit. No. Chief, you can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. I hope not. The new Brome Peterson? Looks like it. And do you think he'll make it out of there alive? Oh. Uh -oh. I think he might. He's a difficult no. boy to get rid of. No. Right, Peterson. 
I'm listening. Well, what's your offer? Well, but he's good. You know, I really don't think that he should make that deal. H hang on, dude. Hang on. I'll I'll save you. They're gonna they're just gonna kill you. I'll get these guys for you. Cole, oh my god, he's a madman. Mad Dog Cole Phelps, they used to call him, and they still call him that. Actually, we're Jack right now. Oh, well, Mad Dog Jack. That sounds a lot better than Cole. Uh, uh. So, so essentially, the chief of police is probably going to get his nose dirty because one way or another, this is going to get found out. Yes. How does he come out clean? Well, Peterson can help. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I really hope Peterson just backstabs him. Well, we'll see about that. Well, now we're in the uh, sewer level, pretty much. Yeah, Hopefully. so who are, who are these mooks? These are just mooks who are uh, in with the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, I assume. Ah, okay. But if Ira gets out and he gets captured by the police... Then they're gonna start asking questions. They're gonna find out a lot of bad shit. So when we yeah. find when we find them, oh boy, oh fucking boy! I hope you're sitting down because the the twist that's gonna be coming is probably gonna rock you to your core. All right. Cole, I'm your and, father. And also, I've got to put a whole. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of extreme content in this game, and uh, this revelation has to deal with extreme content, so, uh, you know, there's gonna be some, some, you know, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you a warning, you know, a place you can skip that kind of stuff, but it is really, really tough stuff, tell you what. Tough stuff. Well, if you can handle bodies floating in the river like this, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little bit more than that. Are we talking about hard to swallow pills, or what? Well, we'll... We'll see, but I'm, I'm just I'm just saying it's All right. it's rough. Not as ru not as rough as this guy. Yeah, he yeah. Oh, face against the sign. He's gone. Mm -hmm. He has no chin anymore. Ah, oh, my hat. Oh. Ah, well. I was getting sweaty anyway. Oh, oh no. He got him. Well, I'm getting closer, that's for sure. Oh, dear. He, he got lit up. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Jesus. So I'm going to do this section completely wrong. All right. Duly noted. Do we eventually do it absolutely right? So I'll take care of that guy. Good. And oh, the guy right there. Oops. Oh, turn around. Right into the wall. Oh, oh. this guy over there. Got him. And then this guy. Excellent. And, oh. 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 Really depends on where I'm facing and whether I can aim. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there's no guy. There. Okay. We did it. So uh, I guess I'll just make my way down here. Don't like there's anywhere to jump off at. Ah, there we go. You're surrounded by me! Oh! Uh. <clears throat> so take out these useless goons. I'm doing pretty good with the carbine rifle, really. And we come in here and we find ourselves... A flamethrower to call our very own. What? Yeah. <laughs> But no guys to kill. But no guys to kill. Damn it. Uh, oh well. I mean, it's still cool. But the worst part is the water's rising now, so we got a time <laughs> limit. Water's rising. Great. So we can't even use the flamethrower in a place that's wet. Nope. He's coming at us really slowly. Well, I can use it on this one guy. Here we go. Did you get him? Yeah, I got him. Alright. What a thrill. 
Not long enough. Nah. It needs Snakey. to be at least, <laughs> at least ten ladder lengths. Speed of not I'll, long enough. There. I'm done with this flamethrower <laughs> now. I'm gonna go back to using my gun and not even. Well. Are you okay, <laughs> okay, I better not use it on Elsa. I guess that helps. Please save me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. Wasn't that long ago? It was like two years ago. You don't remember that long ago, dude? Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? There we go. Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom. War's over, soldier. I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. Name drop. Fight for God. Oh. Fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Good. Elsa, are you all right? Get away from her. It's all right, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? Why would he remember no. you? No. Mm. You want me to burn that cave, Lieutenant? Ooh. That cave full of civilians. Ooh. Hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better life. By killing him. To leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her too. Get her out of here. Vix will help so what was the moment mind. that made him lose Jack, his mind? I need this guy to make the case. Probably killing the people in the yeah, hospital. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! Well, let's just end his suffering. And, yeah. It was all coming down to that anyway. Mm hmm. So here's our extreme final military flashback. <laughs> and what a flashback it is. What do we do, Lieutenant? But Jesus, look at all the Stop kids! Stop the goddamn screaming! I need to think! And how do you expect to do that, you fucking maniac? They're burned to a crisp! Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps! Get your own fucking hands dirty! Ah! I'm on a morphine! Ah! Ah! Put these people out of their pain. Now! That's an order! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Cole Phelps, renowned war hero, the hero of Sugar Loaf, out of here now. all these Double medals, time. all the awards, two, to an aid station. was because he burned two minutes. Everything that a hospital. In here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. And it was all a secret, held only by that regiment. And Ira had been holding the guilt all along, all these years. He was doing him a favor, Elsa. Cole, up here! I'll get this great Hurry, hurry! The water is rising! You're first! Hand her up! Get out of here! You're not here! I'm not arguing! You're wounded, Jack! Let me help! What are you waiting for? But, still a soldier. To the very end. What? Yeah, he ain't getting up from that. It was more like repentance. I'd say so. Wouldn't you say the whole game was kind of repentance? Eh, pretty much. 
So we can all agree, him sleeping with the uh, German broad, not the worst thing he's done. You know, I was living a cozy life until I met Cole Phelps again after the war. Had a good job, making pretty good money, lived comfortably. Then he shows up, I get fired, I get shot in the arm, I'm in a more stressful job now. What here a fucking asshole. To honor Detective Cole Phelps. Is that Roy Earl? Roy Earl gets off scot-free, but he has to suck his dick at his funeral. Damn it, I was hoping Cole would just pop out of his coffin, pop him right between the eyes, and then die again. You've seen this game's realism. Well, alright. I'm still waiting for L.A. Noir Undead Nightmare. <laughs> Maybe Rockstar can make a fighting game. I play a tournament fighter where Nico Bellic and Cole Phelps can duke it out. I would love it if Roy Earl was the final boss and you finally get to kill him. Nah, the final boss is Jimmy from Bully. <laughs> How can this 12 year old kid be so strong? God! Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continues to fight the good fight? I think I was his friend. Hey. I was never his friend either. I just want to make that clear. I hated his guts. I, uh, hey, well, wait, no. I didn't hate him that much, though. Wait, hold on. But I kind of almost did. No, wait. But not all the way. And may I say, so did they actually find his body, or no? A good friend. Uh, I'm gonna guess it washed downstream, and, uh, you know, I, I, he, he kind of looked like a pretzel. But a pretzel they fucked up on and threw in the garbage, and that garbage washed out in the sewer. That's about what he probably looked like. So definitely closed casket. Yeah, yeah. That's the final case, and that is the end of Cole Phelps and the end of L.A. Noir. Well, I kind of called it at the very beginning. Either we were going to be the bad guy or we were going to die at the end. Either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain, and Cole Phelps was lucky enough to become both. <laughs> yeah, he got both. Well, that was a twist. That was kind of cool. So, uh, I, I guess, see, uh, well, I mean, how... These credits go on for some time. Think you're just gonna speed them up, probably? D no, I mean, I figure we would take this time to just sit and reflect on the game, you know? I mean, we've spent a long time on it, we've done, we've done a lot through it, we've, we've had some moments. Had some times, I'd say. Again, I liked it. And that ending was kind of... I don't know if I want to call it expected, but I kind of saw that coming. Kind of. Feels like it just kind of came out of nowhere, didn't it? Well, a little bit. I knew it had something to do... Like, leading up to it, I knew it was going to have something to do with the regimen. As the only reason they're showing you the flashbacks is to set that up. I kind of forgot there was a guy with a flamethrower in the flashback, so maybe that's why it feels kind of out of place. It feels like they used the whole, and then it was all swept under the rug, uh, plot point a little too often, you know? Eh, well, they certainly didn't s sweep one aspect under the rug. So they had, they had to make him a hero because, you know, for, for whatever reason to save face, but it, it felt like they did that too often, you know, like... Oh, we, we uh, got the, the final case of homicide. We got to this one guy. We got to sweep it under the rug, though. And, oh, uh, there is a reporter of the prostitute and all the secrets of the of the, of the LAPD. We got to sweep that under the rug, too. And, you know, have Cole Phelps I, I do that. I don't, I don't like that. I, I do oh, agree uh, with you going and, from oh, lowest we, we point. Oh, we, we, we got an arsonist, and he's going to expose everything. We got to, we got to sweep that under the rug, too. Just, just, a, little, just, just a little too often, you know? Well, I'm thinking, I, I agree with you starting from small and go up and up and up, but I, I don't know if it would work the same if we had, if we started with, you know, the with traffic and then go all the way up to, like, one of the highest officers in homicide and 
and Vice and stuff like that. I don't think it would have worked with this plot thread, personally. Yeah. That's just what I'm thinking, because if you have our our main guy, who is a bad guy secretly, you don't want him in the top spot and then just dying, so you you kind of feel bad for him, but then not really, so I think it, I think it works. Overall, I still don't like the progression they had. Yeah, I think ever since they've uh, done GTA V, I think that a game like this would benefit from multiple protagonists their own different plot lines going concurrently. I could see that. Have Jack Kelso doing his own thing, and have Cole Phelps doing his own thing, and then have, I don't know, Roy Earl dying in a ditch somewhere. I don't know, I feel like it would match the scope a bit better, perhaps. Oh, well. Well, when did this come out? 2012? 2011. 2011? It's, it's, it's been worked on for like five years since then or like I think even longer because I think a game like this was being made since like 2006 maybe perhaps so well what was what was happening around around that time around what time around 2011 when this came out 2011 uh Dark Souls came out Rage came out uh we were we were smack dab right in the middle of uh, the PS3 Xbox era cause uh I'm trying to recollect, there were no other games like this. So this was its own animal, and, you know, it, it wore the... It well, wore that honor well. Well, games have done facial capture technology, but not quite to the level that L.A. Noir had it, and I don't think even, you know, quite since. You know, for actual in-game graphics, at least. Yeah, for... For what they wanted to do and what they ended up with, it still looked really good. The thing is, though, mocap is done a lot differently these days, I think. And the way that yeah. team, the, the, the way that Team Bondi did it, it was very, very time-consuming, very, very expensive, very, very meticulous, and that's why they're not around anymore. Well, now, now we well, have, yeah, now we just act out the scene, and you yeah, know, it's we, just, yeah, we have extremely advanced facial technology to where the actors will just come in, put sticky things on their face and body, and just do the scene, and it all just works out. Some of those behind-the-scenes of games like The Last of Us, The New Spider-Man, they're amazing. Oh, yeah. Even David Cage does this, because, you know, after after this, we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of uh, some David Cage games. We're going to be doing Heavy Rain after this. Surprise. And, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, uh, most people have turned it off some... right now. I mean, they've seen they've seen it all. They're probably oh, skipping ahead past the credits, you know. We're just kind of rambling because we still got a long way to go. I mean, th- these are just the actors who were playing in the game. Jesus. That is a, lo- a lot. That is a lot of mocap. That is a lot of facial technology. <sighs> see, see, instead of having a lot of people do a few things... David Cage has a few people do a lot of things. And that's certainly a much cheaper game because, hey, David Cage is still making games and Team Bandai has... Well... Yeah... Well, I'm still gonna say L.A. Noir is impressive from a technical standpoint, from story, everything. Uh, I'm still probably gonna say that ten years from now. Probably with... You know, a little less praise, but I'm still going to praise this because it's still pretty good. There, there hasn't been a game like it since. Nope. That's what, which is why I think that, you know, a follow-up or, you know, a game that's similar to this would be really, really, really welcomed. And I guess people would argue you have that with Rockstar as main games, but, you know, not quite to the detective level. Except maybe Project Judge! Ha ha ha! What the hell is that? That's the Yakuza spinoff. Oh, well, nobody cares about that. <laughs> oh, nobody cares about that? You mean where you get to, like, sneak around and look for clues and take pictures of people and all that stuff like that? And <laughs> go down checklists and become a detective and you're working on all sides of the core? That's going to be Absolutely. fucking awesome. That's going to be goddamn amazing. Nobody. nobody cares except for everybody. <laughs> what are you... T- nobody cares except for everybody? Oh, I'm making fun of you. Stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it looks cool. <laughs> We're going to do it now because you said that. <laughs> For the creators of Yakuza, okay, I have tuned out. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's, I, 
I look forward to any mystery games. I, I really like mysteries. Hey, Baba Rebop. Eager Beaver. We're getting we're getting down to the songs they use now. Which there are so many that cannot be played. You'd be surprised how strict they are on copyright. Maybe I should change my ways. <laughs> or at least find games that have the option to turn off copyright music. Oop pop a uh, da. Pistol pack and mama. Seems like old times. Smoke, 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 and by that I mean that cigarette. Don't like smoke crack or anything. That's bad because you'll end up stone cold dead in the market if you do. That old devil called love. You do. Hmm. Depth analysis. Uh, How about some in depth. Ah, uh, we're finally getting down to the final logos. I think this is finally ending, and uh, we also got to give credit to MP3. Thank you, MP3, for being MP3s. Yep. Thank you, MPEG. I use MP3 myself whenever I use MP3, please. Aw, oh, that's nice. A research library for 20th Century Fox? Sure. Oh, well, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, they did Just a lot. Make sure they... they did a lot of Hollywood stuff. What was it like to make studios back then? And what was it like? Yeah. To... Oh, all right. We got one bonus military flashback to close everything out. Oh, good. This is what Cole this sees right before he died. Guess which former 6th Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, it could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps? He didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge, wife and kids in tow, and looking awful humble in the process. This is the well, LAPD, even though he murdered all those kids. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're gonna have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. There were no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. I can't believe I just went through Petalu and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's uh -oh. always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. What? Can you imagine what that's on the streets? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. Courtney. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, We're gonna Todd. give returning GIs drug money. Todd, That'll the make them feel good about themselves. Is everyone or no one, boys. Dirty, horrendous drug boy, money Courtney. with people's you blood on their the hands. Person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. Fuck the public who are bored with returning GI. Fuck promotions. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the six have done. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing to me. And that's the end huh. of L.A. Noir. Okay. What was your final ranking? Uh, I don't think that was that kind of a case. Damn. So we didn't have to interview anybody. We didn't really have to find a whole lot of clues. All we had were just those two final newspapers. That was really pretty much it. Boo! Give a final ranking so you have to redo it. Well, that was more of a uh, cutscene type case anyway, because, well, we can't get a final ranking if we're dead, right? Uh, well, I mean, Jack could take the prize home. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, just as a uh, final thing to say, uh, out of ten, what do you give it? Oh, uh, that was a good eight out of ten. Eight point five out of me. 
and it was really good, and uh, glad we did this. This is a lot of fun. And, hey. uh, yeah. Thanks for bringing me along. Hey, no problem, no problem. I'm glad you enjoyed it, too. So, uh, yeah. see you next time. We're going to be starting Heavy Rain.